Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Camp Camp, you guys. We kicked off Season 3 in the best way with a combination of a fundraiser, a drama, a gut-wrenching uh, commercial, and ended with like some kind of like death match battle <laughs> wrestling match I don't know what you would call it um but yeah guys it was quite the episode so I am loving season three so far I will briefly get into last episode before I do I do just want to say if you're joining me early today you know just what that means it means you are one of my awesome patrons thank you so very much and as always I'm sending you out those big old hugs right through that screen and if not Still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I really hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. That helps me and my channel a whole lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, yeah, guys, last time was really, really fun. We had this whole, like, subterfuge kind of plot from Gwen and David that they were going to, like, raise funds. I don't understand why you couldn't just raise funds for the closing camp. They're like, nobody's going to care about a camp. But if you made a commercial where all the kids were like, we don't want camp to close. I mean, because at the end, we had Nikki with her cute little face. And it's because they didn't want to have to tell them the camp was closing. That That was why. That was why. But the thing is, like, I feel like the truth could have avoided a lot for them. Then again, Max's plan, albeit not pleasant, was a big payoff. A big pay, And he even was getting some investments in Neil Bucks. Like, it's amazing to me how Max not only looked out for the camp, but he was looking out for his friend. The only people who really got thrown under the bus, I would say, are David and Gwen. <laughs> So he still got the satisfaction of kind of sticking it to them, I guess. But at the end of the day, um, you know, the fact that he would go to those lengths means that he doesn't want the camp shut down. So I see you, Max. I see you. And we all know what your real motives are. So, um, so it was a really good one, guys. It was really fun. The commercial was funny. Quartermaster. I love anything we get with Quartermaster. He's so, oh, it's always so cringy and so awful to get through, but it's just like, there's nothing like a good, like, Quartermaster story. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. So, like I said, season three, I think, is off to a real good start. Without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right into the second episode of season three of Camp Camp. Let's do this. I think that's kind of loud. What do you think today's adventure is going to be? I'm hoping for a wild animal attack. We just had one of those <laughs> last week. At this Aww. point, it's more out of the ordinary when nobody gets mauled. Oh, Nikki. Yeah. So disappointed. Did live? I can't remember. Space I guess kids. it wasn't that big of an adventure if nobody died. I'll live on in all of your hearts. I saw Nerf trying to learn how to play a broken xylophone yesterday. That's bound to go somewhere. You don't understand! The A-sharp bar was missing! How am I supposed to play anything in D minor? Is that it's the keys? That's a bit more promising. Oh, I've been trying yeah. Adventures a lot of drama going on. Weeks ...to see if I can find a pattern. And if I'm reading things right, we could be looking at a Scooby-Doo-like murder mystery, a love quadrangle, oh. or an accidental wiretap confession. Oh. All that sounds lame as hell. And weirdly specific. Well, will something interesting That is specific. Happen? Um... Hey, Aaron, your shirt's on inside out. Oh, that's weird. Uh. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, she's lost her cool. Wow, she's Aaron, lost her cool. an uncool thing you just did. Aaron yeah. did something uncool. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Oh, Nikki doesn't want to laugh. <laughs> Quartermaster! Now that is interesting. Oh, oh! This place I know that's tucked away, a place where you and I can stay, where we can go to laugh and play and have adventures every day. I know it sounds hard to believe, but guys and gals, it's true. Camp Campbell is a place for me and you. We'll swim through lakes and climb up trees, catch fish, bugs, bugs, and honeybees. It's endless possibilities, and no, that's not hyperbole. Our motto is Camp Adium, and that means I'm telling you. 
We've got archery, hiking, search for specs, being horseback training, they'll save for hard hacks, we're arriving, keeping up the rhyming, football, limbo, science, hunting, freak out, six, treasure hunting, bomb defusal, no refusal, fantasy, circuits, retreat. <laughs> See, we just can't I ran out of breath so bad. I really need to just get a good breath. Let's take it so long. Do you think she'll be okay? Modern medicine's come a long way, Nikki. I'm sure she'll be fine. Um, Assuming can it that restore moderate, cool? We're probably getting a special yeah. poisoning just talking about it. What? Probably. I'm going to get her out of there and transfer her to a different Aww. care facility. It's not her time, damn it. It's not her time. Why Aww. the low campers? How's arid? Do you require additional cleric spells? Wow. Oh, I didn't no. think you guys would be so concerned about arid sprained ankle. That is very kind of you all. Yeah, even I'm impressed Just by... Just give it to us straight and cut the bullcrap, Doc. Will she ever be cool again? Wow, everyone okay, loves that's Aaron. That's more our normal speed. Yep. Oh, what's up, guys? Check out my cool new walking sticks. So brave. Oh. What the fuck is going on with her crutches? Yeah. They well, don't if you've been paying really... attention during second aid, you'd know our health second insurance goes <laughs> and doesn't cover things like crutches. Or medicine. Oh. Or injuries. Or, or anything. And if you paid attention during yeah. Jerry Rigging Camp, which used to be carpentry camp until the sheriff confiscated our power tools, you'd remember oh. that we all made these crutches together. That's what makes them so special. It's cool, guys. It just means my crutches have extra personality. <gasps> oh, you she got it cool, food, but not me. Nobody's cool on crutches. Go on, Arid. Show them you can really strut your stuff. Sure. Whatever. Ooh. Oh! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, and a bird on top of it. Take me instead. Oh, Nikki. I still think you're plenty cool. Oh God, no. Oh. Nice work, David. Do you guys smell that bird shit? No. Not the bird. It smells like opportunity. I don't know. I think Neil might be right. We did just witness a bird drop of wicked deuce on Arid. All I can smell is that. Poor Arid. <sighs> don't you guys get it? <laughs> Arid's not cool anymore. If Arid's not cool anymore, what? Quiet, you dullard! He's using dramatic paws. If Arid's not dramatic cool anymore, paws. then anybody at Camp Campbell could be the coolest. He's right. Are it's you trying to say? Just you like in Julius Caesar. And in this version, they're going to be competing. The grabbing role of Cassius. Everything works out great for him. No offense, but as the biggest, strongest, and most self actualized camper, I think I can make a compelling case that I am the coolest. With my fist! Character oh, traits are fist. my speciality. I myself oh. have a plus two modifier to. Neris, I hate to break it to you, Neris. but you've got as much chance of being the coolest as Space Kid. Die for life, please! Status oh. effect. Sadness. <laughs> So, also, Ruby and Yang. <laughs> I mean, you're all just so cool. It's gonna be really hard to decide. But what if you all took the afternoon to make yourselves even cooler than you are right now? A coolest makeover. Are I'm you sure setting them up? Um, because you want to be coolest. the best way to honor Arid's memory. It's what she would have wanted. I'll be cool for you, Arid. Not if I'm cool first. Oh, yeah. everyone's Man, gonna be competing. Be like yeah. Show of idiots. Man, yeah, I was gonna say. I, I feel like that's. Pretty good feeling. I could have a shot. At... <laughs> okay, you know what, Max? That's your friend. Don't, don't, don't be mean. Hi, Arid. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't understand the language of the uncool. <clears throat> Hail and well met. I'm a little busy right now. Doing what? Trying not trying to embarrass to be cool. myself again. My DM says if you fail, you still get experience. Or he used to before he said he wasn't allowed to talk to minors anymore. Which was really confusing. I don't oh know my... what the coal industry has to do with any of it. Ugh, ugh, I can't believe oh my goodness. how uncool I am right now. Maybe it's the work of dark forces. Did you drink a bad potion? Put on a cursed amulet? I'm a little rusty on my buffs. But I could look into Yeah, I don't think so. Aww, what I really Nares. need is to do something really, really cool. <gasps> I know! You could go on an epic Please don't say quest. Quest! Oh, but a quest would be skills. cool! We could scale the highest point of Sleepy Peak. Or the darkest dungeon of Spooky Island. At the end of it... I wouldn't go to Spooky good. Island. You know, I think you might actually be onto something. Yeah. 
Just don't go to Spooky Island. And then Craig said he was the ranger. Why does the bad oh, have spice? dragon had the vitamin D allergy? Maybe I skipped that part. Anyway, he said, You know, it's cool that you wanted to come with me. I did something cool? Whoa! Oh, totally. baby! But you can go back if you want. I'm used to doing things solo. Me too! But usually because nobody at camp wants to go on quest with me. That's oh. fine. More experience points for Nurse the Cute. It Nurse doesn't bother the cute. you that nobody here likes what you like? Sometimes. But if I just got sad about it, I'd miss out on so many quests. My dad says I'll find yeah. my party one day. Oh, Nerys! Exactly I, I, I love Nerys. In my underground skater zines of a super secret half pipe hidden near the top of Sleepy Peak. What? Why would uh, that be up what? there? I guess Campbell tried to get the X Games to come here one year, but they said no because it was too dangerous. Which oh, is so way you... uncool. What are you going to do? I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna jump that half pipe. That'll that show sounds everyone like I'm a terrible still idea. Cool. I don't know, Arid. If there was something that big and outlandish up here, we definitely would have seen it by now. Oh, sick Perfect. jumps ahead. Danger forbidden. Yep. Any minute now. Hi, Max. What's got you looking so chipper this afternoon? Oh, let me guess. Is it the joy you get from seeing our Camp Campbell flag? I know the little camper inside me stands at attention every time I'm near it. Normally, I would love to give you shit about your flag boner, but I'm in the middle of something. <sighs> that so didn't sound actually. right. That Have didn't sound right. Arid? Arid? She's long gone by now. She bolted like an hour ago. What? Jesus, keep up, guys. That's obviously where this whole thing was heading in the first place. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm a little busy right now. What exactly are you waiting for? Hello, non-cools. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Yep, Gwen's like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. And nothing's cooler than drama. And sometimes Stockholm Total. Oh, uh, wait, what? I fashioned myself after all the coolest meals on the planet. The brains and wit of Neil Patrick Harris, the charisma of singer and songwriter Neil Diamond, and Neil deGrasse Tyson's ability to ruin all of your favorite movies with smug scientific observations. Yep. You know All the Neils. Buddy. All the Neils. Uh... <laughs> what are we doing? I become a mature adult with emotional and financial stability. I've been stock marketing all morning and I've had a couple of three o'clocks already today. I even started contributing couple to a Roth three IRA. <laughs> Preston's matching. I agree to no such Preston thing. Preston is matching. Silence! <laughs> I have elevated my act to include the beasts of the earth. Witness the ferocity oh, and the Oh, we're gonna have beasts? Oh my I god, there's... I just want to hey, we are good. still fucking oh. it up. Wait, where's Maris? Mm -hmm. Oh no, With Aaron. we got two missing campers. Shit, don't say that so loud. All right, this train wreck is we officially really don't over. Let anyone we to need to find them. With Aaron on crutches, they couldn't have gotten themselves into too much trouble. Uh, attention campers. I'm legally required to pre-record this emergency broadcast, warning you to stay away from the condemned half pipe up on Sleepy Peak Peak. Oh my God! And that's it's what we're doing. Power at the old forbidden skate park. That's still up the there. The old Campbell forbidden said he skate was going park. To tear it down. Even the knockoff Y Games said it was too dangerous, and they sponsor a dog fighting league. We have to go. Oh, to that's not good. That's not good. We're getting closer to the sound of Mr. Campbell's authoritative voice. I think we're almost there. <laughs> I repeat, stay away from the condemned half pipe and it's totally sick jumps that were too gnarly for those cruel. <laughs> too gnarly. I'll show them a money laundering scheme. Ted, how long am I supposed to keep doing this? Only air. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. My baby still got it. Um, David, I think we found it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this looks this looks horribly dangerous. For dangerous death trap, more appealing to kids. <laughs> oh, there we go. All the kids want to do it now. Um, Aaron, I think this might be way beyond your level. It's definitely very high, but that means it's way cooler, right? <sighs> uh. And they have, just to be clear, they have like no health care of any kind. I just got that damn Y Games bid. I could have left this whole mess behind. All that money. 
No, I will not turn off the recorder, Ted. Aaron. <laughs> Ted. You come down right now or we'll come up sick. Now everyone at camp will see me get my cool back. Oh, Aaron, please don't die. Please don't die. Look at her. She doesn't want to do this. Of her own mortality, just like I was during my recent midlife crisis. What was I thinking? This sports car was never going to make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not, but I tried everything else. None of it worked. Well, how about just being yourself? What do you mean? I mean, you never used to try to be cool for other people before. You were so confident you didn't even think about other people. No, were you just, just were cool. You. And that was cool. Hmm. So, <laughs> I'm playing rock, rock paper scissors. Cooler. See who has to go. I'm saying you shouldn't care about what I think. Well, well, well. Nice. Look who chickened out. Guess you aren't worthy of your coolest camper title after all. That's fine. I don't really care. What? My power? It's not working. You mm -hmm. guys got it all wrong anyway. It doesn't take a perceptioning check to know that Neris was always the coolest camper here. Oh! Thanks, Sarah. It's a perception check. It's oh, okay. It's better. all right. She noticed me. Oh. That was only slightly more fun than usual. Except for you, Neil. What the fuck were you thinking? It's like what Nara uh, said. It doesn't matter what you I guys think. Matter. I think I'm pretty cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nah, that mess is real lame. Okay. Oh, oh, it doesn't work for you. I took the top off the whip. I call that Dooku. I'm too cool for school. Don't let them fool you. I'm a trendsetter. Everything I do, they do too. Okay. Love the message. Love the message. Oh, hey, they got Nomad Nowhere in here now. Nice. They got... I really like this. Guys, that was such a good episode. I love that. That was actually a very nice message. I gotta say, that was as much a Neris episode as it was an Arid episode. And I love me some Neris. You know how I feel about Neris. Neris and Space Kid, which is hilarious because they're... Ruby and well they're not actually but you know the voice actors are Ruby and Yang which like of course of course they'd be <laughs> oh guys I love that I love that like on this soul searching journey of coolness it was not the most daredevil stunt it was not something that we were attempting to do it was the wise words of a wonderful wise and cute friend that ultimately saved Arid's coolness. Um, I just think that's such a sweet message for a show where we get a lot of like, was that the moral of the story? Like at the end, <laughs> that actually was a really fun, sweet moral of the story. And I love that Neris was the coolest album. <laughs> I love me some Neris. She's so cute. Um, you know what, guys? Sometimes you just have a, a momentary lapse of cool. It doesn't mean you're not cool. It just means you just got to go back to, like, it's so true. Like, the whole thing that was so cool about Arid wasn't, like, cool stuff that she, she did. It was just the fact that she was so comfortable with herself, you know? And in a way, I think trying to be cool kind of makes you look a little bit less comfortable with yourself, you know? There's, there's effort, whereas... The coolness should be kind of effortless, you know? Um, that was so fun and cute. I love that one a lot. And just the whole thing. <laughs> I love that even though Cameron's gone, like, we're still getting, like, schemes and terrible underhanded things that he did uh, revealed over time. That's kind of a fun, uh, fun little way to keep him in our hearts, I guess. Um... But man, and the little cool parade where everyone was trying, you know, Nerf becoming like a sophisticated businessman and Nerf has got some interesting stuff going on. You know, they always kind of take me by surprise with Nerf because it's never what you think it's going to be. You know, he, he's, he's, um, he's really kind of like, he's so aware of himself that it's like, he's not even 
he is kind of that bully, but he's not. <laughs> Just kind of by nature. I don't know. It's hard to explain. And then, <laughs> Say's kid was his car. <laughs> I'm a car! Oh, that was so cute. Oh my god, I love that. Um, guys, that was a very fun episode. Season 3 is shaping up to be something really special so far. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please, um, you just know we're going to be getting into some kind of probably wonderful, terrible, cringy shenanigans. And I definitely will need your help. So please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.